Hi, friends. It's Dr. Mary Gardner with Lap of Love, and I have a special guest friend with me today, Matt Meeker, co-founder of Bart Fox. Hi. Hi, Mary. How are you? I am so good. Thank I you. I don't know. Is it Dr. Mary? Or no, no. You? It's Mary. Okay, or doctor, or Dr. Gardner, I'm sorry. No, I'm casual and I like to keep that casual. So, so no, no, I, uh, <laughs> so, I mean, unless you want me to say Mr. Meeker and then, uh, then we- no, 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 no. That sounds horrible. So you and I have been friends for a couple of years now. Uh, we met in New York. I love that you were in the New York hat. Yeah. <laughs> Even though the Yankees are terrible this season. It's all right, you gotta support though, I love it. Yeah. I love it. So you and I met a few a few uh, years ago in New York through a mutual friend of ours, Dr. Marty Becker. Yep. And uh, I learned that you were the co-founder of, of BarkBox, which I, at the time, didn't know too much about. But then after I met you, I was like, let me go look into this more. And uh, for those of you that are joining, just we're going to go into this in a lot more detail, but just uh, a quick synopsis. It's a subscription type uh, um service to get treats and toys for your dog but there's more and <laughs> we'll get into it so i need to understand how did you think of this what's the background oh that that's easy that that comes from my great dane so i have a 130 pound great dane hugo who <laughs> is the, the love of my life um and it, it was about He's a New York City dog, so grew up in New York City, and you walk into a pet store there, and they're just not stocking items for 130-pound Great Danes. True. That's, that's pretty atypical in the city. So it was about finding things that were cool and appropriate for him, and and that sort of kicked off the whole thing, and he's been the, the inspiration for everything we've done since then. No way. Okay, so that was like 2000. 11. 11. Okay. 11. Yeah. So 10 years ago. Yeah. We, we shipped our first boxes in December of 2011. Oh, this is, that's fast then from, from conception to like perspiration to <laughs> inspiration to preparation to yeah. Perspiration yeah. out there. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you were like, I'm going to make toys and uh, make it. A, and did you always know from the beginning that you wanted it to be a monthly subscription type thing? Yes. Yeah. So prior to, to Bark, uh, the, the company I started previously was Meetup, meetup.com. Yes. I know. And, that. Okay. And Meetup was a subscription service. And I love the subscription model. And, uh, and, and, at that time, it was kind of one of those things where the the box thing was getting going and it, they were all subscriptions. So like Birchbox came uh, mm -hmm. about 18 months ahead of us. And we, we actually are um, very grateful to Haley and Katya, the founders of Birchbox, because we we were getting started and we asked them, like, if you could go back 18 months, what would you do different? And they said, oh, here are all the mistakes we've made. We wrote them all down and uh, it, it really probably saved us a lot of pain. That's so nice to them. Yeah, it really was. That's awesome. Yeah. So listen, I'm going to admit I get myself Stitch Fix. So yeah. I get a month. Well, I moved it to, to quarterly because I'm not traveling so much. So I don't need that much clothes and I'm in trouble for like having too much clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it because it's custom and, and I can say what I like and don't like. So I really liked this idea for the bark box. Now, yes. okay, so your first box went out in December, 2011. Yes, to 49 okay. people or 49 dogs. 49, <laughs> 49 dogs, okay. Are you allowed to say how many boxes, dogs a month now? Uh, oh, yes, see, uh, it's, it's weird. We, we just became a public company um, a little over a month ago. So now you can only say things that you've registered with the SEC, which I'm learning. So uh, we- I know. That's why very, I asked it like cautionly, cautionly. It's, it's a very strange way to live. But we, uh, the last reported number is we have 1.8 million active subscribers. Oh my gosh. Isn't that amazing in 10 years from 48 or whatever to over a million? It's crazy. That's it's crazy. crazy. Okay, so when I went on, I, uh, I I originally signed up for my dog Norin. So Norin is 
Uh, he's now seven. And uh, I had Sam, who's who's an angel now. So she was in the house and she's not a big toy person, but she wanted the treats. So, but I set Norrin up and it was so much fun. I like, I geek out over your guys' branding. Like you have no idea. Mm -hmm. I just, I loved the questions. I loved the graphics. I love everything about BarkBox. So it was so much fun setting up Norrin's little profile. Great. And so, so let me tell everybody. So I, so nor and my dog, he loves, he loves, he loves toys. Uh, and he likes anything with squeaky or like that crunchy, that crunchy sound. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll destroy them. If I get them from the, the, the store, he'll destroy them in like two days. Uh, so that's not good, but I'm okay. Also, if he destroys them in like two weeks, but mm -hmm. two days is a, is a little fast. So I don't, so there was an option for a super chewer. Right. And yeah. I did not do that one because that's more hard products, right? Uh, it can be. Um, it, you've got the right idea that it is more durable. But as you're describing, we've we've sort of created a spectrum of durability because if you send, uh, you know, if you, every toy you send out is like a brick, then there are a lot of customers who are who will say, you know, I'm a super chewer, but geez, I don't need to break my teeth off. Right, um, and so we've we've kind of got this spectrum of durability, and it, it's it's part of that. It's part of the process. So um, across all those subscribers, we are sending today about a quarter million unique assortments every month. Quarter of a million unique, meaning so so. Okay, wait a minute. So mm -hmm. there's usually a theme, right? There's always a theme. Okay, yeah. this is the best part, guys. So. Uh, two, I think about two months ago, I think the theme was, um, uh, like breakfast in bed or something like that. So here's, I brought some of Norn's toys too. So here's his cafe latte or something like that. And his scrambled in his fried egg. Now you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but that's the, I'm watching. He's asleep right now, which is good. And then he's got the squeak on it that woke him up. So, and this has got it. So there's always a theme. And then last month's theme was like the campfire, like the camp out. Uh-huh. I think, yeah. yeah, because I have the campfire. <laughs> <laughs> and he had s'more, he hasn't, I haven't even given them this yet. And we've got today's box that just came actually on Saturday that just came. So every oh, month wow. is, a, is a theme and I adore it. Like, and I'm going to, I'm going to open my box, the box live. So do you guys pick these themes like a year in advance? Oh yeah. Uh, more like two years in advance. What? Yeah. Yeah. So they're, they're pretty planned out right now through the end of 2022. Uh, and then spoiler alert with the one that you're about to open, um, every now and then, uh, a few times a year, we partner with, um, different, I'll say brands or characters. Uh, and that's what you've got in your hand right there is the, the latest, the latest par partnership of a theme. Uh, okay, so look, at, I'm going to remove cool. my title here. Let me hide this. See, I'm such a bad like producer. And by the way, I've got two pictures to show like, they're so cute the little bark boxes coming. <laughs> and then I can show in the in this one too. With the two. Okay. <laughs> Ah, wait, I gotta hide these all. There's too many of us. Wait, see, this is why I should not be allowed to do this. Okay, back to us. You got all it. Right, so now you can, a person can get though the regular box, right? So like, and it's not that expensive, $30 maybe, or? Uh, it, can, it can be as little as 20. Okay. Yeah. And then you could decide, I want X amount of toys, X amount of treats. Yes, there's like a base and then we we have different offerings like we, you can join the extra toy club for seven dollars a month. You get an extra toy. You, you have a double deluxe there, which basically doubles everything in it. So if you have multiple dogs in the house, that might be a good thing. Uh, and then, as you know, uh, there's the option to add products at the last minute through the app or from your dashboard. Uh, so a lot That's of my favorite life. thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> so I have, so there's an app, the little bark app. And, uh, like, I'll be like, mm, I know it's coming soon. Let's see if there's any fun toys out there. So, all right, I'm going to open Norrin's box. So it comes like, like we said, once a month, 
And here's the best part, guys. It's like the inside. And I know it's all for me. But it is so cute. Hold on. Before I cut myself live on this, let me, just, <laughs> let me put this down. And I'm, I'm very excited about this theme. Okay. You'll okay. see that, I think. I hope you're excited. <laughs> okay. Putting the scissors down. Uh, all right, I'm going to back up a little bit. Okay. So the inside is so super cute. All right, it's the Space Jam. So, <laughs> yeah, wait, so this, is a, this is a special one. Yeah. You know this two years ago. Or what? You, did you know about this two years ago? We, we knew about it probably a year ago. Oh All right, so you're like in the, wait a minute. So I have a friend that's in the know on stuff. Yeah, that's right. I can tell you about a lot of movie releases coming. <laughs> I need to abuse this friendship a little bit. Okay, so it's the Space Jam. So Norrin gets the double box. Listen, he's quite the like spoiled child. Uh, and he's got all these toys. So now look, so I have to be careful that I don't, oh my God, <laughs> this is the cutest thing. See, now he's gonna like this one because the legs and stuff, like the, the legs are very floppy. Oh, um, okay. But okay, he's, now this one he'll love to see. He's got the crinkly sound too. Yeah. I'm being very quiet about it because he's sleeping over there. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite character because I feel like when it's time for my hair to get done, there was an episode with him and Bugs Bunny getting his hair done. Okay, that's, and then that's it, you know, this, favorite one too. Do you know that? And you know that one I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Those those that are under thirty have no idea what we're saying. <laughs> um, so this is a little tougher for him. That's okay. All right, it's and hard. then we our treats. Yeah, I might have to reduce him down now that Sam's an angel. He has a lot of extra treats. So. <laughs> But that's, that's the kind of stuff that we we try to listen to. So when you give us that feedback and you say uh, what you said about the legs, I think on, on Tweety Bird there, that type of thing, or I'm getting too many treats, the cabinet's filling up, and we try to change the mix. So uh, what did you mean by by quarter of a million unique things? If I'm like, yeah. listen, Norrin's getting a little chunks, roll yeah. back. Yep. Yeah. Then, then we'll go more towards the toys. Um, some, you know, some dogs, Hugo doesn't really play with toys very often. So he needs more of the, the treats and he needs softer ones because he's old. So. Oh, okay, Matt. So you just hit a, you hit a, a topic here because we all love our old weak and wobbly guys, right? And so sometimes yeah. we do need to be a little gentle on their mouths and, and little uh, things like that. Yeah. And, you know, so. So, so that is very cool that we need that. I like this, the softer product. So let me tell you the little, the treats. He's got a lot of treats now. I, I do need to slow him down a little bit. <laughs> and then Maybe there's, a little. Maybe a little. There's six. Like these are so great. But all, all the treat, the, 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 the products gone into making the treats are all US sourced. Yeah. Really good stuff. And I'm like, I usually see that there, there's no soy. A lot of times it's just a, uh, uh Ooh, the maybe blueberries for this one. Okay, so what I like about these two, listen, I'm telling you all what I like on, on live, <laughs> is that they're tiny, right? And so for, so, but they're usually very easy to break. Yeah. So when I'm walking with him, because he's a little reactive, AKA aggressive. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when he, so when he sees other dogs, I'm like, Norin, and I just positive reinforce him with these. But what was also really cool is that dogs with cognitive dysfunction i like to keep their brains active and a lot has to do with treats and the and the yeah. games the, so i brought a game that sam had and so i would break up my little treats and put them in here and yeah. she, i have like 20 different games wow so wow. these so for sam towards the end she was getting a little picky on her food but she liked all the bark box treats good so, you know, there's still it was it was keeping calories going. It was getting her, you know, excited to to for her. Oh boy, he heard the back. Okay. <laughs> so see, I like the like he likes. Oh wait, there. So that's his call. Get him to me. Come on. Oh gosh, now he's gonna like. Now he's shy. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There you go. Or this one. Oh yeah. Oh, now you're showing off. Oh, now, now, I'm, 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 now I'm showing off. Okay. 
so uh so that's him and he so some people will say like well that's just too many that's just too many toys now again he's got the double box i i think i might have spoiled him a little too much so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie but uh it's you know good to have a little in, in different enrichment activities yeah and so a new toy two toys every month is not that bad and I just, you know, I'll throw out the, eventually he'll find the squeak, which is fine. Yeah. Right? Like, it's okay, everybody, that they destroy them after a few weeks. Like, it's it's okay. But they usually do last them a long time. Like I said, this was his this was his fried eggs from two months ago, and it's still here. And, uh, and, he, and he loves it. And there's some that he just goes nuts for, and some that he's like, man, eh, I got the squeak out, I'm done. We've, I'm done. we've actually worked on uh, an edible squeaker. So mm -hmm. when you get down to it, the dog can just eat it. That's uh, ingenious. Yeah, yeah, we've got it working. That okay, Norin would like to be on QC. <laughs> that. that is ingenious, Matt. So if they get to because there's sometimes foreign bodies, so we do need to right. watch out for that. So absolutely. Okay, yeah. Listen, and usually like once a month or once a week, I have to go underneath my couch and like pull out all the fuzz because he's like, you know, defuzz them, but. I, now he's like a baby now. I hear him squeaking in the background. So that's a genius idea. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Okay. All, all about the safety. You know, it's got to be fun and safe. That is so cool. Okay. So now the other day I was looking on your website and I saw a few other options. So besides the super chewer, which I knew about, you also have bright. Yes. What's bright? Uh, Bark Bright is, well, that's an umbrella name for all of our health and wellness products, which today there's basically one. Uh, we, we created a dental product and it's because, you know, when, when, when I talk to Dr. Marty or probably you or the vet who I live with here, I'm, I'm told there are three things we need to do in order to, to make sure our dogs are healthy. Number one, feed them right. Number two, take care of their teeth. And number three, make sure that they they have mental well-being, that, that their minds are happy. So I hope BarkBox takes care of that third one. On the dental side, uh, all the vets say you should brush your dog's teeth. And no one does. I don't. <laughs> no one does. Okay. Uh, because everyone involved hates it. And then, so you look for, for solutions that are easy to and enjoyable for a dog, but actually work. Now there there are dental treats out there yes. that, are, that are treats. Um, just because they make the breath smell better doesn't mean they actually have any sort of oral. It's like we chewing a chewing a piece of gum. Yeah, yeah. Or you know they do have the benefit of scraping stuff off of the teeth, which there's some benefit to that. But it's like brushing your teeth with a toothbrush and nothing on it. Yep. So what we created was a gel that you apply to a, uh, a stick, like a, a chew, Yes. and give to your dog, and they chew it, and as they chew it, the gel um, cleans their teeth. And the gel is actually, it has the three required enzymes okay. um, in, order to, in order to clean teeth, um, developed by a Danish company with us. Uh, a Danish company that creates the enzymatic activity for a lot of the human toothpaste of the world. And that so we've created so it for cool. dogs. Yeah, because there's some paste, there's some enzymatic paste, but people aren't sticking their fingers in there and doing it. So it kind of looks like a, a channel that like it's on, like it goes into and yeah. they chew and then little enzymes get their get their better on their teeth. And it's and I will argue it's more effective than the, the pastes that are out there, which have in our testing somewhere between 10 and 20% enzymatic activity, ours has more like 60 to 70%. It's oh, wow. really, really, really hard to create this and hold the enzymatic activity uh, and then put it in the tube. And it's a really, really tough process that um, we've, we've finally figured out and got it to a really good spot. Listen, dental disease I wish I paid more attention to that in vet school because every single dog or cat has an issue. The older, right? Like they all do. Yeah. I mean, the only time they don't is when we've removed all their teeth. Yeah, my, mine included. 
Um, right. Like, yeah. And right, the bigger the dog, sometimes we don't see because they have better bone density and things like that, but it's still an issue. Yeah, yeah. So that's the first BarkRite product. There are more on the way. Um, oh, oh, all right, spoiler alert. Yeah, I can't, I can't tell you. There's one uh, early next year that I'm okay. so excited about. Oh my God. I'm so okay, excited. early next year. Early next year. Okay. It, yeah. Uh, he's squeaking on the, on the Tweety Bird now. It's, I don't know if it's annoying, but. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so then I noticed you have Bark Eats. Yep. Okay, so tell me about that. So Bark Eats is my favorite, uh, developed by my co-founder, Carly. Carly is uh, a badass. There's no other way of saying it. Carly was the, the 13th employee at Uber ever. So you oh, wow. ask Carly to do something, she just gets it done. She's incredible. Right. Um, and she, she started being interested in feeding her dogs better a few years ago. And really, like, I, I could go on and on about this, but, you know, this is someone who's driving four hours upstate New York, collecting meat from people, bringing it back to her basement, carving it up, like, all kinds of research, really got into it. Uh, and then started talking with nutritionists, which there aren't many. There, no. there are many vets, but there aren't many um, veterinary nutritionists. No. Uh, so she started talking to them. And again, to our veterinary friends like Dr. Marty, and and one one of the big issues is we all, not all, sixty percent of us overfeed our dogs. Oh yeah, uh, it's we think we're showing love, and so about sixty percent of dogs are obese. Um, <laughs> that bad idea to make to give him a squeaky toy like who? <laughs> oh no, no I, I thought you were shaming on the obesity thing i didn't now listen norman's <laughs> getting a little chunky because what happened was also my girl sam she was you know so sick towards the end that that he would steal her food when she didn't finish it all so he needs to be on he needs to be on a plan which is why i'm like uh oh too many treats but um, but it's so true though, like it is such a high statistic of, of overweight animals. And the, the, I think the problem is now we are, we assume that the, that the average is the, is the, not uh, the norm is good and it's not. Yeah. Yeah. There, there, there are a lot of chunkies and that is so bad for mobility issues. Uh, yes. And so what we've developed with, with Bark Eats, you know, what we found is a lot of the foods on the market are often coming from the same sources or they are very, very similar. There's not a lot of difference in the kibbles that are out there. Uh, there are different flavors uh, and that's awesome. Uh, but what we're very focused on is a service of feeding your dog in the right way, which means we, we have, we sit down, we don't sit down, but you sit down and you tell us a little bit of information about your dog and the goals. So it might be, uh, Norin is, I think you said five or he's, seven. He's seven. Seven. Yeah. So seven years old, um, weighs about this much. Uh, gives, give us the, the basics and maybe say, oh, maybe 10 pounds overweight kind of thing. Um, also some favorites, loves turkey, allergic to poultry, whatever it is. Uh, and so then we, uh, we will put together the right food, like, and it's a combination. We will do a base kibble, which is a protein. We will do toppers for flavor, and we throw in fun flavor top, toppers all the time. We change it up, like one month might be cheeseburger month, so they get the cheeseburger flavor, and then next month. Like the coating on the kibble. Yeah, uh, no, 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 it's like in addition to it, and then, if necessary, supplements, vitamins, oils, whatever, um, whatever might help with like, you know, a coat or something like that. So uh, that, and that's all baked in? No, we don't bake it all in. We mix it together oh, and then we God. put it into pre-portioned packaging. Okay. And so, so you just open it, straight in the bowl, you're done. And it's, so that one has infinite combinations. It's personalized for every dog we serve. That's cool. Right, Adam. so if I'm like, mm, don't want the chicken, I want salmon. Needs That's right. Yep. Needs a little probiotics, it's got a little IBD. Yep, and, and we do that at a price point that is comparable to 
um, you know, any brand, like a blue buffalo go in, buy the bag off the shelf at, at a Target store. The price point is very comparable to that. But what you're getting is delivered to your door, pre-portioned packages. Um, it's customized for your dog and not just once. It's not set it and forget it customization. Like yeah. if we're putting your dog on a, on a weight loss program and then two months later, you've lost the 10 pounds, we need to change it up. Yep. So uh, it's we're always checking in. Um, you'll hear from us via text until unless you say stop, then we won't bother you. But um, we're trying to learn like how's it going and how can we make it better next time. See, that's what I love about you guys. With the like on the app, I say what toys he liked or what didn't like, and and that way you you listen. Sort of like my Stitch Fix. Listen, yes, I'm exactly. A little too short shorts. I mean, it's longer. it's one of the benefits of. The internet and technology is is you can listen and then you can reflect that back to a customer. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the bark box in the different in the different like chewiness or or toughness. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Okay. <laughs> and then the, then the bright and then the eats. Yep. Am I forgetting something? Uh. No. no. I think no. we're good. Okay. So, no, right? I'm sitting now. Here. I'm like, oh boy, Norin, <laughs> you're in for it. But you know what? A lot of people may say, Mary, why are you doing this? Because a lot of our pets in that who who might listen to me are nearing are nearing the end. And uh, but I tell you, with the happiness quotient that you said is so important. And for for my, I had a do. It's not like you said. Not all dogs will like toys. No, Norin is a toy monger. Like he loves them. Sam was like. Eh, not so much, but my dog before loved toys. So even if even if I am only able to do it for nine months, it's really nice to 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 do something joyful. But the enrichment is so important, and like fifty percent of dogs over the age of ten have have signs of cognitive dysfunction, and people don't even know no notice or know it. So keeping them active with the toys, with treats and games and, 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 the, and the treat games are is so important. Yeah. So even if it's just for a few months, I still think it's a good idea. But um, if we can catch them sooner than later and we can help them reduce their body weight, which is, like I said, the most important thing with mobility issues. It's like with us. Yeah. We lose some weight, we'll start feeling better as we walk. It's, But like you said, a lot of people love with food. <laughs> They do. They do. I do it to myself. Oh, I had a bad day. But uh, <laughs> but it's important to try not to. But towards the end, uh, that's why I, like, I really liked all the different treats because Sam was Sam was getting picky and, and she was fine with it. But if we can catch right. them sooner than later, we can actually have them live better and hopefully live longer. Yeah. Yeah. We, we always want to balance it of making it something that's really fun for the dog. Yes. But also really fun for you. Like hopefully those are are toys that you'll look cool by posting them on Instagram and your friends will think you're super cool and your dog is. Um, but then also you want it to be safe. You want it to be healthy. You want it to extend a dog's life and the quality of their life. And so yes. we, yes. with everything, we are, we are adamant about, we won't send it out unless we would give it to our own dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, and have really ramped up like the testing and the rigor around that. Um, it's pretty incredible. Even around <laughs> the durability of the toys, um, this company we use to test has a machine that sort of simulates different jaw pressures. On no way. <laughs> like thousands of times, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Yeah. And does it have like, like teeth or is it flat? See, I love all this stuff. I, I haven't seen it. I've oh, only heard need, about it. We need to take a field trip. <laughs> now, okay, so does Hugo have a massive amount of toys? He does, uh, but he, he's very, he's very generous about gifting them to friends and family. Uh, <laughs> he shares. Uh, he he does. I mean, maybe not willingly, but all of a sudden, a giant basket of toys will disappear. Uh, he, he doesn't. Right, I as understand. long as a couple favorites are, are with him. Then he's okay. Then he's okay. Listen, yesterday I did a little bit of a purge myself. I was like, mm, this looks nasty. This smells nasty. This has got like Norin crust on it. Like we're tossing it, buddy. Cause you've got a deluxe box. I got to open, <laughs> which is crazy. So now if I'm going to be away for the summer, I could stop my subscription for a little bit, right? Like yeah. it. Yeah. 
Of course, or, or reroute it or whatever you need. We, we have a happy team in Columbus, Ohio, takes care of all that. It's led by a, a gentleman named Hernan, who I, I kid you not, is the nicest person you'll ever encounter. Did you just say the happy team? Yep. I love that. So like <laughs> customer service is the happy team. Yes, yes. See, I, this is why I'm in love with everything you guys do. And what I love too is making dogs happy for over 50 dog years. Yeah. <laughs> Be longer than that, too. I feel like maybe it was the other boxes, like the inside had stuff on it too. I think my deluxe well, box doesn't have the writing all over the box too. Sometimes, sometimes there's writing on the box. Um, you've got a good insert there, like a yeah. This uh, is a big. This has got a lot to tell me, guys. But yeah. what I also like is like, oh, there's a road runner. I need to go get the road runner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the worst person to. Oh, and then you could cut. Okay, see, it's so cute. There's an activity. Your, who's like your marketing department? That's in New York, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's. I need to make a trip and go to New York and and just have fun with them. Yeah, yeah. The creative team is amazing. Uh, yeah. They're 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 a fun group. Uh, yeah. So did they literally come up with like, let's make a campfire? Like they yeah. design them too. Oh, they design. Yeah, they design everything. I can't like guys. It is just the cutest things ever. Like we have we have ramen noodle cup like that. I didn't throw that away because he still likes his ramen noodle cup. <laughs> it's just the cutest stuff. And what I really like too, which I'll put in my messaging, is that when some of them have a double tr like a double toy inside. Oh yeah. So like he'll yeah. pull it, like all and he'll be like, holy crap! I just found a secret toy. Yeah, the, the most famous example of that is Consuela the cactus. It, uh, because Consuela is, if, if you look, I think she, well, she's for sale, I think at Bark Shop or Amazon. Uh, but she, on the, on the outside, Consuela is a happy cactus. And then when you tear her apart, you find a mini Consuela inside, but that one's a sad cactus. And She's happy on the outside, sad on the inside because she's complicated. She's well, it's a, she's a cactus. Nobody wants to go near her. <laughs> right. like, I get it. Like I, oh my gosh. See, I could I can hang with those marketing people. I might, <laughs> I might be annoying, but I I just love it. And the fact that you guys are thinking out two years in advance is crazy. It's just oh, yeah. all right. So so Matt, like you said, you guys went public just a few few weeks ago. Right. What's your ticker yeah. symbol? I like. Well, B A R K. It is right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I bought some. So. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't That's know. If I can say thanks. Um, good for you, I guess. I don't right. know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I like I like products that, or I like to buy stuff that I actually buy. So so there Me you too. go. And you got a great ticker. I, I want. I thought it was Bark, but I was like, wait, is it Bark? Yeah, it's Bark. It is. Yeah. We we had to uh, pry that away from the bank of Akron. <laughs> I didn't know you could actually pry that away. Well, they weren't using it. They, I guess they're using something oh, else. Oh, if they went back, I see. Yeah, that is yeah. true. Okay, that is cool. All right, so what's next for you? I mean, you're still sticking around Bark, I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there's yeah. Uh, There's a lot of Bark Eats. Like, you just found out about it yesterday. It's relatively new. It's my favorite. Uh, so I'm working on that a lot with Carly. Nice. Uh, probably annoying her. But... Uh, that's a big part of it and continued. Uh, I, I told you there's something coming with bark bright next year. You almost, you almost gave it up. I, I can't give it up, but, I know, uh, right. All right. but I promise you, you'll like it. Uh, right. Yeah. There's just m much more to do. There's so much more to do. And then there's the rest of the world. And then, ah, like global. Yeah. Yeah. Got totally love it. On the U S but, when to do that is a tough question. I get it. Yeah, so this is only U.S., not Canada either? We serve Canada. Frankly, we, we do a pretty poor job in serving Canada. So I'm sorry, Canadians. But I have a few Canadian friends. That's okay. Yeah, but so we will get better at it. Um, it's probably it's definitely my fault that we serve them so horribly. Uh, the true I like, story. I like your taking accountability. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, we didn't serve Canada. And then someone asked me to come speak at a conference in Toronto. 
Yes. And I went on stage and then I said, and I have a special announcement as of Monday, we'll, we will be serving Canada. And then I got off stage and I called Carly and I said, by the way, we're going to serve Canada starting Monday. <laughs> I do blame you on that one. So we weren't really set up for it, and we've got to get better. Here's the difference. At the time, you were CEO, right? Yes. That's what CEOs do. And then the COO has to actually then do what you just said. Yeah, no matter how unfair. <laughs> it is completely unfair. So <laughs> that's okay. Oh, my gosh. Listen, I don't want to keep you. This has been so much fun to talk about my favorite fun product out there. And uh, as I said, I really want people to think about enrichment for their pets, happy times, all years of their lives. But even towards the end, who, can, you know, who can't benefit from a, a fun treat every month? That's what I say. Yeah. Now, I would love to work on a little geriatric box one day. <laughs> that sounds cool. I like that. A little gray muzzle box, you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's fun. I see. It's fun, but but it would be basically let's build little campfire. So I, it's it's the same. It's the same stuff. And your fiance is a veterinarian. Yes. Nice. So like this is you've got it all in the family now. Yes. Yes. So she will keep you on your toes to make sure all the products are good for the pets. And, uh, and she's she's actually the one who would do the overfeeding and too many treats and <laughs> you know those sorts of things. Oh gosh, I love but, it. So look at but Lauren. you know, she she came and she worked with you guys for a couple of weeks. Uh, she did last winter and loved it. And oh. so we're we're huge fans of Lap of Love and what you do and how important it is. Oh, well, thank you. I know it's, 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 it's the, it's a, a passion like you have for your bark box. We have for our love family and, and all the, and all the pets that are out there. And uh, I've had a few people say that they use our services and Lauren is excited to check out the dental product. So that's awesome. And I might be looking into that for, for Norrin as well. Cause he's. Well, please like check it out, try it. Let us know how it can be better. Uh, okay. And it's every day, right? If I, if I look at it. Is. It's, yep. Yeah, so you just do it every day. Yeah, so you just take out the stick, little toothpaste on it, hand it to them. It'll keep them busy for a few minutes. Uh, everyone ha that uses it says it's like a daily habit. So it just goes right with the food, and it's great. Yes. See, because here's the thing. I got bottles of enzymes and stuff like that, and I just don't do it. It's like I got a lotions and potions for my face and everything else, too. I just don't do it. I need I need the easy button. So yeah. that it's like my bark box. It's my easy button. It's coming. Got all my good stuff, and I don't have to, you know, do much thinking. Yeah, and it really, really works. Uh, it, it really works. I love it, and that's great, Marty. Marty's giving you all these tidbits too. I like it. Marty's such a good guy. Hi, Marty. I don't know. If I you're <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Marty Becker is is, a, and look, he introduced us. Norin thanks him because now Norin gets his bark box, and and. Uh, um, okay, so Lauren does ask any digestive enzymes with the dental enzyme because they've got a sensitive tummy. Uh, not that I've heard of. The only the only sensitivity that I I've heard about has been uh, right now. It's only a chicken based or chicken flavored uh, gel. And so anyone who's uh, allergic, allergies, yeah, to poultry. I, okay. I know we have a beef flavored one that's in development, but I don't know how soon that's ready that's a good one but you guys do sell on your bark shop see i'm getting my lingo good you guys have i believe you have a a, a, a digestive enzyme powder available do we okay <laughs> maybe <laughs> i'm lying i would check it out lauren but i could be i th i thought there was like a little probiotic i could be wrong um, now I'm not, not that i know of okay maybe you've not been, you've been shopping somewhere else Never. <laughs> no, it's okay. Maybe I don't know, but check it out, Lauren. Uh, uh, the, but digestive enzymes are good. Oh my gosh, I hear the rumbling above me from the thunders down here. So we are both in Florida, and I'm going to send you the storm. Um, and listen, tell your marketing team once New York opens up, I want to go up there and okay, uh, and be and be a part of it. Yes, I, I'll tell Mickle. Mickle runs creative for us, and he. Um, he came over from Lego. He was head of product innovation for Lego. And 
Uh, yeah, he's awesome. That is so, you've got some good people Yeah. on your team. Well, that's why it's so good. And look at, it was, it was just a few guys 10 years ago. Now you're public. I like, know, it's it, crazy. It's mind boggling. And just think when you were making up a uh, uh, meetup so long ago. Oh my gosh, we should have a meetup for old dogs. Oh yeah, yeah, Hugo, Hugo would be there. <laughs> yeah, I think Hugo would be there. That's hard. Oh, look at Lawrence in Palm Beach County with me. So here in the thunder, I love it. All right, I will let you go. Thank you so much. Say hi to Edna for me and thank everybody at the Barkbox team for just making such an incredible product. And oh. I encourage everybody to, to try it out. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh. <laughs> All right. Wait, she likes my she likes my old dog meetup idea. That's <laughs> it. Seems that way. All yes. Buffalo families, we could all get together with our old guys and just. So now you can count on that. I won't hear the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Right, thanks. thanks for joining.